Last week, uh, we had a wildfire situation. And so the first thing we'd like to say is thank you to all the first responders and anybody who assisted with the wildfire response effort. Uh, this situation could have been a lot worse than it was. And if it wasn't for the fire departments and others that responded in a timely and very professional manner, uh, El Dorado might have had much, much more damage than it did. So we appreciate all of those individuals who responded, um, but it does bring me an opportunity to provide some information to the general public about Butler County's reverse 911 program. One of the things that happened to happen on Friday was uh, the decision to evacuate the township village area. Officials were determining that the fire was moving rapidly toward the town and they didn't know if that was going to create a situation where there's going to be a lot of structural uh, fire potential. So in order to keep everybody safe, they decided to make a decision to evacuate that specific neighborhood. That can be difficult uh, in the midst of chaos. And one of the tools that we have available to us is the reverse 911 system where Butler County can actually contact a group of people uh, utilizing their 911 database. So to sign up for that, we're gonna have a link in our comments right below this video. Uh, so you can click that and it will take you to the county's website so you can sign up for their reverse 911 program. This is very important because again, it gives uh, officials the opportunity to communicate directly to the community in situations where uh, property threats or even personal safety is at critical risk. This will not be a, a tool that we will use in the event of a tornado or other very quick situations, um, but this will be a tool that can be used in the event that there's a situation that is developing that may have an impact uh, on a large number of people. So make sure you sign up for that uh, because it is a very useful tool, but it's not useful if you are not signed up for it. Speaking of Township Village, if you've been out to the village recently, you may notice that most of the streets are now paved. Uh, the city has actually completed the street improvement projects on 2nd, 5th, Hunton, and Simpson uh, very recently. And now the only things that remain on those projects are basic project cleanup and some seating work around the areas uh, that were disturbed. So the pavement is done, which is great for those residents that live in that neighborhood. I know they're probably very appreciative of uh, the, new, the, new, the new streets. The, that pro those projects were funded in part with uh, city at large dollars, uh, but a large portion of those projects were funded by the residents that live on those streets with special benefit proceeds. So they will be paying over the next 20 years. Um, so this is in part part of the city's street improvement program. Now those streets are improved and they will become part of the city's long-term maintenance program, which we uh, use as part of our mill and overlay program dollars that we get from sales tax proceeds. Provide a brief update on the ball field improvement program. As you may recall, the city commission allocated $2.1 million of excess sales tax proceeds to make improvements to McDonald Stadium, the East Park softball complex, and the Central Park baseball complex. One of those projects will include concession stand restroom facilities at East Park and the Central Park complexes. Conco Construction out of Wichita was the sole pr proposal submitter for these facilities. And so they were selected to design and construct the facilities in both parks. Uh, they will begin their work in earnest at the end of the summer softball baseball season. And we'll hopefully have those facilities done in time for the fall softball season, as well as the next year's uh, spring baseball season. Another part of that program is the McDonald Stadium turf replacement, uh, and the city will be accepting bids until April 12th, 2 p.m., and to which we will then review the bids and make a selection in terms of who will be selected as the company for the turf replacement project. In addition to the turf replacement, we will also be installing a new scoreboard at McDonald Stadium, uh, which will actually be installed on the left field line as opposed to the right field line, which will make it a lot easier to see in the evenings in summer. Uh, so that work will begin, as well as the installation of a new fence in the outfield and along the exterior of McDonald Stadium. 
These improvements will begin again uh, after the close of our summer baseball season. So a lot of great things coming very soon. Uh, a lot of things that are taking place behind the scenes right now is we get bids and we select contractors. Uh, but bear in mind that work is taking place so that we can begin the actual construction effort uh, this summer. So a lot of exciting things will be happening in baseball softball facilities in El Dorado. It's spring, uh, and that means that many people will begin the process of cleaning up. Spring cleanup is a, an annual tradition that many of our citizens celebrate, uh, so to speak. And so we have a couple of resources that we will be making available to help you out. The first of these resources is our annual dump truck program. This will begin on April 17th, and for a mere $15, you too can have a large dump truck brought to your residence and you can fill it with as much stuff as you want. Basically what happens is you call Public Works Department, they'll deliver the dump truck approximately around 3 p.m. Monday through Thursday, uh, you can select the day, provided a container is available, or rather a dump truck. And uh, then you can fill it until the next morning. Public Works will come by at 7 a.m.-ish and take the dump truck and remove all of its contents. Pretty good, pretty good deal for 15 bucks. Now, there are some exceptions to include uh, no tires, no items with refrigerant, to include refrigerators, and of course, no hazardous materials. Uh, and you can also not use this program to demolish structures. Sorry. But everything else is free game, and for only $15, you can fill a dump truck, and I've done it before, and you can fill a lot of, you can put a lot of things in a dump truck. So take advantage of that beginning April 17th. So call 321-9100, which is the number for City Hall. Follow the prompts to the Public Works Department and order your dump truck beginning April 17th. Another thing we're doing this year to assist the community with spring cleanup efforts is to provide our spring cleanup program. Now this year, we're gonna change it a little bit. Beginning May 1st, you'll be able to come down to City Hall or the Public Works Department and pick up two tickets that you can use for free trips to the Butler County Landfill. So you'll be able to fill up your trailer, your truck, whatever, and drive those items down to the County Landfill, give them one of your tickets, and that trip will be free to you. Each person will get only two tickets. So you only get two trips, so plan accordingly. Uh, and so just to be clear, the spring cleanup this year will not have a trailer down at Public Works where you can go dump your items off at, or we will also not be going door to door to door picking up items as well. We're gonna do this new thing that uh, the city of Augusta has done and has done very well, uh, which is the, the ticket uh, platform. So again, you'll have to come down to City Hall or Public Works Department, pick up your two tickets, and you'll get two free dumps at the Butler County Landfill. Of course, there are some exceptions to that. Um, county landfill regulations do apply, uh, so make sure you go to their county website to find out more information about that. All right, I think that's all I have for this week on Things to Know. Uh, everybody have a safe weekend, and we will see you next week right here on Things to Know.